That is so cool. Today we are talking about potassium permanganate. What is it? What are its uses? And then we're going to actually make some for you today using chemicals you probably don't have access to, but still, this is a really cool chemical experiment. And we're going to light things on fire using potassium permanganate. So potassium permanganate, what is it? It is a mixture of potassium, manganese, and oxygen. And what is it used for? It is mostly used because it's a very, very, very powerful oxidizer, which means it's quite dangerous. Now it's such a powerful oxidizer because there's one potassium, one manganese, and four oxygens. So it's very good at supplying oxygen to say a fire. And that's what makes it such a great oxidizer. We have a little bit here. This is the most dangerous container of cottage cheese that you have ever seen. So if you want to see what potassium permanganate looks like, there it is. It's just a purple, shiny powder. Owning potassium permanganate is not actually illegal, but it is very dangerous. Because there's so many oxygen little bits floating around in it, it's very good at breaking down organic matter. And guess what you're made of? Yes, organic matter. So don't play around with potassium permanganate. What are some of the uses of potassium permanganate? Well, because it is so effective at breaking down organic material, it is used in water treatment. So if you have any sort of organics in your water, just mix in a little bit of potassium permanganate and suddenly everything dies. So aside from the fact that potassium permanganate is so good at burning things, what I find really cool about it is that it is the most intensely colored molecule that we know of. So it is the most vivid purple that you can possibly imagine. And we're gonna show that to you right now. So I have some potassium permanganate in this little test tube. And this is just water. Add the water to the test tube. And I'll just stir it up just to make sure it's all mixed in. And there you go. Look at that. Purple, 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 purple. purple. Okay, so now we actually get to the portion of the episode where we make potassium permanganate. Now we're going to need a few different materials. We're going to start off with potassium carbonate. This is actually quite difficult to get, but you know, if you're determined, you can find somebody that'll sell it to you. We need some manganese metal. So this little thing here is just a piece of manganese. Manganese is kind of like iron, except it's tougher and not magnetic and doesn't rust nearly as bad. We're just going to pump some electricity through there with a couple of magical science words, and then we're going to make potassium permanganate. So the first thing we need, we need to dissolve potassium carbonate into some water. Now it needs to be a 25% solution, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have 50 grams of it, and I'm going to dissolve it in 200 mils of water. Eh, 48, close enough. We just pour in some water to about 200 mils, and we stir that up and wait for everything to dissolve. Ooh. It's heating up. So now we have to set up our special apparatus. So for that, we're going to need a clay pot, a piece of copper wire, and the bottom of a milk container. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've just attached the manganese to a clip here. I'm going to set that in the little pot, just so that I know what level it's going to be at. And then we just add the potassium carbonate to the container. Okay, now this here is just a little copper wire. So we connect the positive to the manganese negative to the copper. There we go. Then we'll just plug it in and turn it on. So what you're seeing here, we have some bubbles coming off the copper and inside the pot there is purple coming off of the manganese. So the purple is the potassium permanganate and the bubbles coming off the copper is just hydrogen gas. Okay. So why the clay pot? Well, the basic answer is that when you make potassium permanganate in this way, if the potassium permanganate can make it over to the copper wire, it will degrade the potassium permanganate. So the clay pot 
just prevents the potassium permanganate from escaping so that we can make it in a large concentration and then use it later. Now you'll probably notice some pink. We accidentally bumped the table and some of the potassium permanganate escaped. So that's just why that is. Um, ideally, it wouldn't be pink in the milk jug, but eh. Okay, so this has been running for 15 minutes now, so I'm just going to shut everything down. And let's pull out our potassium permanganate. Now, unfortunately, I haven't figured out a good way to do this yet. So, just remove our electrodes, set them to the side. So this is the best way that I've found to do it. It's not a very good method, and I'm probably going to spill everywhere, but we'll just uh, give it a shot. We don't really know how concentrated this is, but we can do a quick comparison with the stuff we made previously. So I'll bring that out, and we may not be able to tell a difference. I think it's less concentrated than the stuff we made before, but I'd have to do a bit more work just to figure that out. Like right here? Yeah. So I'm just putting some potassium permanganate in this little dish. And then I'm going to pour some glycerin on it and I'm going to run away. Before I do that, I'm just going to make a little divot so that it is kind of contained. So we're pouring some glycerin onto the potassium permanganate, and basically what's happening is the potassium permanganate dissolves a little bit into the glycerin, and then it starts ripping the glycerin into pieces, and that generates some heat, and eventually it's enough to ignite everything on fire. So scared. There it goes. So that's it. This is potassium permanganate. Now, a couple other uses of potassium permanganate is the fact that it has been used as a fire starter in the past for obvious reasons, but it's kind of dangerous, so it's not commonly used as that anymore. Now, just as a note, if you ever happen to try this yourself, you're going to notice a lot of green colors showing up. So why is it turning green when it's purple? And basically the answer is, is that in the process of oxidizing things, the potassium permanganate gets reduced into potassium manganate, and ma potassium manganate is green, and so that's why the green color pops up. Very cool. Well, this is Destructive Creativity. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We have new stuff coming out every single Wednesday morning. See you next time. Bye!